I'm now here with Ken Lentz. He's the Vice President of Engineering at HME Aaron's Fox. And we're going to talk about this truck behind us, its latest wildland urban interface truck. But before we do that, Ken, why don't you tell me about the legacy of HME when it comes to wildland urban interface apparatus? Sure, Chris. Thanks for coming. Uh, HME has been involved with the wildland uh, people out in California for CAL FIRE, as well as OES for over 20 years. And in the, in the process, we have built uh, well over 100 Type 1 vehicles and uh, a couple hundred Type 3s. So we've become accustomed to understanding what it is that they've had with their shortcomings, their, their, their likes and their dislikes of both types of vehicles. Um, recently, we've had the customer talking with us in regards to what if we were to take a Type 1 and put an all-wheel drive axle underneath it? Well, little did they know for the last few years we've been working on a parallel project. And what we've done here today is we've taken a Type 1 apparatus and a Type 3 apparatus and took the finer points and also solved some of their issues and put them all into one package. We call this a WUI, Wildland Urban Interface. Can you get into a little bit of the specifics about the truck? And sure. We started out with a custom cab. This is the SFO cab, which is typified on a Type 1 apparatus. A um, little bit uh, more room inside of it uh, than what we've had with the other SFO cabs. We've gone to a 60-inch rear overhang instead of a 54. This is also an all-wheel drive configuration, typified with what we use in a Type 3 application where we're getting out and we're fighting fires up in the hills, in the mountains, down in the valleys, and they need to have uh, superior move, maneuverability, fording rivers, climbing rocks, all those types of things. So we've got the all-wheel drive. The room in the back for when these guys are running a strike team, they may run 400 miles in the back of this truck to get out to a fire or an incident where they're called. So we, we foundationed it with our SFO product. One of the concepts that went into the design of this truck is, is a new way of distributing water and uh, HME, Aaron's Fox, calls it distributed water flow. Could you tell me a little bit about what that means and the whole concept of it? What we did is, if you take a look at a typical uh, pumper that we use today in, in structure firefighting, mm -hmm. and even in the wildland, we've got a pump panel. So we've got this great big area that we've placed all of our plumbing, put our discharges, our intakes, and, and whatnot, and then sometimes we'll sprinkle some around the truck. On distributed water flow, what we did is we completely take that pump panel and dismember it. We take the valves and controls, move them around on the vehicle to where the discharges are necessary, put it, the intakes where they're necessary. Like for example, here's a hose reel. The hose reel controls are up top. They're not down here. So we, we moved everything to where it needed to be positioned to be deployed on the vehicle. And what we're actually looking at here, believe it or not, is the pump panel in the form of this pump control module. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? We've gone to a complete electric pump panel control. It controls electric valves all the way around the truck, pressure governor, switches, automatic pressure uh, for the priming system. We have our foam controller. This is the heartbeat of the truck. We can take this screen, we can put it on the door, we can put it in the cab, we can put it on the other side. We can put one on this side, one on the other side. So it's, 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 it's the heartbeat of the truck and you can control it from anywhere. Safety is always a major factor in any apparatus build, and HME Aaron's Fox has taken a little more time to, to, to address egress to the top of the vehicle. So, Ken, could you tell us what, what you did about that? Sure. What we did is we made it safer by putting an egress ladder in instead of the individual small steps that go on the top. They got an out-of-county box. They got to put their personal gear and stuff like that. So we, we felt it necessary to give them a safer egress. Okay. Thank you again for uh, taking time out. I know it's hard to carve out time at, at these big shows, but uh, if anyone needs to get more information on HME Aaron's Fox, how can they contact you? Absolutely. You can check us on the web at firetrucks.com. Thanks again. Thanks, Chris.